Okay, so here, so we're given a graph and a function. So here it says the graph um, of g. So g is the function. So g of x um, consists of two straight lines. So we have this straight line over here and then this straight line over here and a semicircle, a semicircle right here. Use it to evaluate each integral. So it's telling us to evaluate the integral from essentially x is equal to zero from this point to seven and wants us to do it for each kind of segment. So we'll run through that. So we can say that we need the integral from zero to seven of g at x dx. And the integral is essentially just the area underneath the curve. So here in this scenario, we're going to try to evaluate the area underneath this curve, and then the area over here, and then finally the area over here in this small triangle. So we'll split it up into three components. So the first component will be the integral um, between 0 and 2. of g at x. Uh, sorry, just give me one second. And then we'll do the integral between 2 and 6 for g at x. And then we'll do finally the integral from 6 to 7 at g of x. Okay. So starting off for the first part, so we'll start off with this. So we know here to evaluate the integral here, we just need the formula for the area of a triangle. So here we know that the area of a triangle is a half base times height. So we'll say B H. So here we can see from the graph that the base is two units and then the height is four units. So we can just replace these right here into actual values. So base is two and then height is four. Okay, so now we've kind of defined uh, the first component um, for the integral. We'll go on to the next component. So we have the area of the circle. So we know the area of a full circle is pi r squared. So now we're trying to evaluate this integral. And, and it's uh, this area right here. So we're saying uh, the area of a full circle is pi r squared. Um, but in this scenario, we have a semi semicircle. So we divide this by two. And now we need to figure out the radius. We can see from here that this is the center point. And then one, two, so two units is the radius. And then, so we'll substitute that in. We'll just raise the r here. And then we'll substitute two. And then finally, the final component is this. And it's also another triangle. So we know the equation is a half base times height. So the first value for base is one unit, say one. And then the height here is also one unit, say one. So now we can evaluate each component of the function. So the integral for the first component is a half times two. So that gives us one times four, which will give us four. So here I actually made an error. Um, right here, this sign should be a negative. Mainly because, so this should be a minus sign because the area here is below the x-axis. 
So whenever the area is above the x-axis, the integral is a positive and you can just evaluate the area and add it. And then when the, when the area is of the function is below the x-axis, um, you have to subtract that component. So we have to subtract the area in the full integral um, for the semicircle and we add for the true triangles. So here we would have a pi times two squared, which is uh, four pi divided by two, which gives us two pi. So subtract, we'll subtract two pi. And then finally we have a half times one times one. So we'll just add a half. So this question doesn't, uh, it tells us to evaluate each integral. Here we've kind of done it. Um, we evaluate each component of the function, but we all can also tell what the um, full value, so what the full integral between zero to seven is. We have four minus two pi plus a half, so four plus a half is, um, so if we can put that into one fraction, that would give us uh, four times two, which is eight plus one, that would give us nine halves, and then minus two pi. So depending how the final solution is written, this is um, sufficient um, for the final solution. You can also you put, plug it into your calculator to um, give, get a decimal value. So let's look at the presented solution here. So we have from above figure, we can see that the semicircle has radius of two. So they have the area of the semicircle defined from two to six. So that's also what we had. And half pi r squared, so that's correct. They calculate the correct value. They put it in decimal places here. So they, here they're doing from two to eight. So they also do the triangle area. So they do two, base is two. So here that's incorrect, should be one. And then they don't really answer for the first component here. Okay. An incomplete solution. They also don't really, they add the two pi where they should, should have subtracted. So this is an incomplete solution. Correct answer is nine or two. For God to evaluate the integral between zero and two, did not subtract two pi, and also miscalculated integral between six and seven. So on to the next question.